guys, welcome back to LS Vintage Design. I'm Lisa. I hope you're having an amazing day. How's everybody doing? Today we are here to talk about designing a room with vintage and modern items combined. How do you do it? What looks best? Is there a ratio that you need? And really it's just what you like. What proportion of each one together do you like? Now I get some questions how to do it. How do I mix a vintage piece? Maybe that somebody buys from my Etsy store. They'll ask me, how do I, you know, incorporate this into my home? And I'm going to give you some ideas right now. Okay, first thing is I have a vintage dining room set. So I'm going to work from the fact that vintage is the larger and go down and add in the modern. Now, I will do it reverse, but we're going to have to pretend a little bit. Okay, one way that you can incorporate modern into vintage is I have a very modern tablecloth that was purchased from Macy's on their triple off sale. I mean, it was a great deal, 80% off. Also mixing that, I have these little blue and white pictures that came from the home store on a piece of square cut mirror. These are all modern in nature from the tablecloth, the mirror square that the little pit, different size pictures, different shape pictures are sitting on, and they're on a vintage table. It all ties together because the modern does have that feel of vintage while being modern. And that's what you have to remember. Modern can be modern, but it's gotta marry well with the vintage piece you're putting it with. For instance, if I put a geometric tablecloth on, that's fine, but my table topper would also need to be modern, but have a vintage feel so it could marry the very modern tablecloth with the very vintage furniture, if that makes sense. So the, say the centerpiece for something with a very modern tablecloth, very vintage table set, the centerpiece would need to be a combination of both, okay? On this piece back here, I have it decked out in my vintage cookie jars. You could easily take all this off, put in a huge flower arrangement that's very modern, put down a table runner of some, like a very modern table runner, for instance. If I was going to go with a huge flower arrangement in the center, I would give it a very modern vase, but also have a hint of the vintage in it in the choice of flowers then I would marry the vintage sideboard with the modern vase and flower arrangement with a hint of vintage in it with a blue with a jewel toned blue table runner then I might keep the light which would add in more blue my curtain obviously is blue and then on this side, I would put a very modern crystal cut candy dish. That way, I'm also varying my heights. A very, you know, majestic, tall flower arrangement. I go down to the lamp, and then on this side, I go all the way down. I could put a vase, another empty vase. But when you're doing a full vase to be the star, you kind of want the two sides not to be the star, not to be overwhelming. So a vintage on one end, a modern on the other, and it kind of all comes together in that nice married mixture of modern and vintage. Now, if you wanted to do a farmhouse look, of course, with anything vintage, you very well could too. Any style that you can think of except even minimalist, you could take everything off and just have the furniture, but that's kind of boring, okay, honestly. Um, you know, you could take everything off, put one little table runner and one small item in the center. That would look good. You just still have to marry them. If they're not married, it's going to look like you stuck something modern on a very vintage piece or something very vintage on a very modern piece. Again, if you want to do farmhouse, modern farmhouse, you could put your black and white buffalo plaid on there. You could put a white, large white modern vase with square edges, you know, the clean cut edges. 
You could put a set of photographs, again, very modern frames. So you can add in any style that your heart desires. In, in the process or the formula I use to marry the two, it works reverse too. If the dining room was a very modern, black, slim-lined, cut dining room set, then you could add in hints of modern. You could add in hints of vintage, but again, it would have to have hints of modern with it, and you would want them to marry. Because if you, like I say, if you stick very vintage with very modern, it just looks weird. All right, another way you can marry vintage and modern together, besides what I just discussed, is with your frames. I did a gallery wall over here, and the wall, because walls count when you're decorating, okay? This wall is a modern wall. So I picked very vintage feeling frames to go on it. So when you walk in, this is a very cohesive room. There's the very vintage furniture, and then you have the modern take in little bits, the curtain, the tablecloth, the centerpiece, and then you have the modern walls, but then you have the modern frames. Everything in here gives you a cohesive feel. When you walk in here, you're not going like crazy because something is not right. Have you ever walked into a room and been like, something's wrong, I'm just like, it's like this. Why am I like this? What is going on? It's because the design in the room is off. Same thing if you see somebody come in or if you put on an outfit and you look in the mirror and it's like, something's just off. Why isn't this working? Okay. And, you're, and you may be like, wait, wait, wait. You're talking fashion. You were talking design, interior design. They don't, they, same concepts. So think about if you ever put on an outfit and you're like, this doesn't work. Or if you ever walked into somebody's house and you were in a room and it was giving you like chaotic vibes or if you were at doctors or lawyers or accountants office or somebody's office and you walk in and it's like their office is very nice but it's kind of something's off and you just can't pinpoint it that is because they haven't married their styles well and it doesn't have to be vintage and modern it could be Marry, marrying the style of minimalist with modern or maximalist with vintage. Or it could be marrying maximalist with wasabi. You know, it's the styles. Their styles are not blended, so you don't get an overall cohesive feeling. Okay, so that's a dining room perspective. I think we should go into the living room. And again, I'll show you how you can. Now we're looking into the living room. And again, I have a lot of vintage furniture in here, but I also have it married with some modern furniture. And it works. It's a very cohesive room. It's very comfortable. You can go in there and visit. But if you have to talk, say I have a client coming over, it's also very formal. It's a formal, comfortable but anyway, it's vintage with modern. It marries together. So let's talk about how this works. The tables are vintage. I've talked about them multiple times. They're laying tables. My husband refinished them. I love them. Okay, so the tables are vintage. The decor on the tables is vintage. The lamps are vintage. So Lisa, what is not vintage? The green chairs, the brown chair, and the red couch. And they complement. Why do they complement even though these are new and these are old? Because the lines, the shape, the pattern on the fabric. The lines, old wingback chairs, wingback chairs go back forever. Okay, so the style of chair, the cut of the chair and the fabric all marry it because it, it has that modern feel but also very it has a vintage feel so it's at home with these tables the couch i'm gonna flip you around so you can see the back of the couch the back of the couch is the same way the color is modern but the shape again this shape right here the wave shape 
is vintage. It gives you a vintage feel. You've seen the movies with the settees with the fabric and the wood and the back of the couch is like it goes up and it has the center. This is the same way except it has a modern take on it. Instead of going up to the center, it goes down and back up. But it gives you that feel and it mimics the movement in the wing back chairs. The color goes because it's a very deep red. It's a very rich red. And it matches the colors with the table. The browns of the table complement the tomato red couch. So here, instead of using modern items to marry, I used shapes and colors to marry. Vintage and modern. Okay guys, this is the family room. Let's see if I can go out some here. And again, it's very most of the furniture in here is modern. I have one I have a vintage coffee table, two vintage end tables, okay? Everything else in here. Okay, what I'm talking about in here is marrying a vintage collection with a modern bookshelf. Okay, the bookshelf is very modern. But the poodles go because here it's not one, there's not a middle ground or a middle item to marry them. It's just the fact that the vintage items are actually so recognizable and so timeless that they could be modern. They're poodles. So you can find poodle knickknacks even today. So they could be modern. So the vintage item in this case is so timeless that it automatically pairs well with a modern piece of furniture. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to style a room with vintage and modern together. If you have any questions, please feel free to go to the website and send me a message. The website is linked down below. Also, I am updating the website, but I do get messages, so be patient. Also, check out my Instagram, LS Vintage Design, and also check out my Instagram. Also check out my Instagram. Also check out my Instagram. LS Vintage Design. Thanks for being here with me today, guys. Please be sure and leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with that little bell. We have a lot of stuff coming your way. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.